Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Toriel Sultan. In this video, I'd like to show you step by step how to set up your MetaMask with PancakeSwap. The steps are straightforward. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will do my very best to answer them. And without further ado, let's have some fun and let's set it up. So first thing first, all the links are in the description. Go ahead and find them, download them. The first link you're going to see is MetaMask. Just come to their site, click on download. So remember, MetaMask is a Ethereum based hot wallet. Basically, you download it as a browser extension. So in here, I'm using Chrome, but in a daily basis, I use Brave and I switch a little bit on Firefox. So it supports uh, pretty much all of them. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to go with the Chrome. Basically, you want to click on Chrome at to Chrome and you want to add extension. If you don't see it here, simply click on this sign and you want to pin it so it can show up on your browser like this. You have a two options. You either have your own wallet already or you're going to set up a new wallet. For again, for demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a new wallet to show you guys how the process goes. Click on either I agree or no thanks. Click on no thanks. So let's quickly set up a password. So this is going to be minimum eight characters. I'm going to click on check, click on create. This is the key part, all right? Keep this in mind. This phrase is really important. You don't want to give it out to anybody. Think about it like your bank account. So basically, you do not want to share it to anybody. You don't want to store it somewhere unsafe. You probably want to write it down on a piece of paper or you want to screenshot it and save it on an encrypted hard drive. That's what you could do. So basically, I'm going to click on reveal. This is a test wallet, so there won't be any money in there. So what you need to do is either click on command C, you copy this or you write down on a piece of paper. In my case, I'm just going to quickly click on download this phrase. So it, it will save it as a TXT file on my desktop. Click on next. Basically, what you want to do here is you want to confirm your secret backup phrase. Once I have this TXT, now all I need to do is to press them one by one by the correct order. Once you're done with this step, click on confirm. Congratulations, our wallet has officially set up. So what you want to do is just click on all done. And now we've done with the MetaMask setup. Close this window for now. As you can see, this is a, an Ethereum wallet, right? If I click on MetaMask, it's already logged in just like this. You can add token, you can buy or send or swap. We're not going to touch those yet because we want to set up the MetaMask with the pancake swap. So how we do that is actually quite simple because this is Ethereum based wallet if i just come to pancake swap pancake swap is built on binance smart chain so it's not on ethereum chain that explains why pancake swap has such a low fee and uh, the token right now is sitting at 32 dollars it used to be way less than that so we just hit all time high recently 33 so basically if i just connect my wallet right now these are the wallets pancake swap supports so in my case we have a metamask click on it once see it says our provider is not recognized, now found. That's because our wallet is not set up correctly. To go ahead and set up correctly, find the link in the description. Again, you're gonna find this specific article. This is written by Binance. So what you wanna do is you wanna scroll a little bit down here. I'll link this information in the description as well. You can find it there. You want to come here, you see this Ming net. So basically, we're going to create a Binance based MetaMask wallet, right? The way we do it is click on your MetaMask and you're going to see this three dots. You can expand view and it will open up a big browser like this. And now you can see top right corner, this is Ethereum Ming net. Currently, click on this drop down option and you want to choose custom. RPC. Click on it once and you're going to see all these criteria. This looks very familiar with this, doesn't it? So all you need to do is copy paste these criteria. I'm going to put one on the left. I'm going to put one on the right. I'm just copy pasting the information. Network name is smart chain and URL. Copy this part. Chain ID is 56. Currency symbol is BNB and block explorer URL is copy paste just like that. And that's all you need to do and click on save. Right away, we have this new chain created. This is called a Binance Smart Chain. So this is going to support our pancake swap. A swap between Ethereum wallet 
as well as Binance Smart Chain Wallet. If you click on it once, you're going to see this token it says BNB is no longer Ethereum ETH. Once your MetaMask is switched to BNB, next website you want to come to is PancakeSwap. If you already landed on this website, make sure you give it a refresh. And now what you want to do is top right corner, click on connect and select MetaMask. It should open up this pop up. And this is going to ask you, do you want to connect this Binance Smart Chain wallet with MetaMask? And click on next. And you're going to connect, we're going to connect this wallet. Click on connect. That's all you need to do. Right now, we have successfully connected our MetaMask with PancakeSwap. You can see top right corner that should show your address, the first four digits and the last four digits. Click on it once, you're going to see this is the address. So in here, you can click on view on a BSC scan. You can see this wallet has successfully registered with a BSC scan. You want to fund your MetaMask with a BNB token. All right, this is my own wallet. Come to any other exchange. This is Binance in my case. Go ahead and find a link in the description. If you haven't signed up for Binance yet, you want to fund your Binance account and come to withdraw recipient address is going to be your MetaMask address you just simply click on here you can copy it to your clipboard and you paste it in here in terms of transfer network you want to ignore the BNB version you want to go with the BSC which it stands for Binance Smart Chain you want to go with the second option click on it once and now once you fund the BNB token on your account you want to send whatever amount you want to send to and your MetaMax should be able to receive BNB tokens successfully. And now come back to PancakeSwap. In here, you can do a lot of things. You can swap between BNB token to cake token. There's some benefits with holding cake tokens. For example, if you come to my pool, you're going to see I'm actually just leaving my cake in the pool to earn 93.08% APR. This is annual percentage rate. And the good thing is there's no time frame locked to it. I can unlock it. I can take back my cake anytime I want and I can swap it back to any other token like Binance token and I can send it out from my MetaMask back to any other exchange and in here also if you leave it here alone right now I have a 0.104 what you can do is you can take advantage of the compound and you can simply click on compound once it will ask you do you want to compound everything into the pool click on confirm total gas fee here is ridiculously cheap if you are in uniswap this one single transaction fee might cost you 10 15 dollars for gas that's why binance smart chain is capable of bringing that fee down to the minimum 50 to 70 cents sometimes click on confirm and give it a few seconds you're going to see right there my cake token all went back to zero and it went back to my total stake so now i have 126 something like that pancakes right so that's pretty much it and lottery so i'm not a gambler maybe a lot of people made a lot of money here so you have a feature here you can buy tickets and you can actually buy a lottery and i believe they have their own pancake version of the nfts and uh, that's pretty much it so basically what you want to do three features you're going to use the most number one you're going to do exchange okay there's a way where you swap tokens Recently, there's big trend happening, safe moon, safe Mars, and these tokens. That's how you're able to use a pancake swap and a MetaMask to buy these tokens and stuff, right? Swap these tokens with your BNB tokens. And also you can come to liquidity. I'm not going to do liquidity in this video. We need a little bit of explanation on, basically you need required two tokens, one to one ratio. You want to convert that into something called LP tokens. They call it liquidity pool tokens and then with that you get to earn pancake very similar to pools but it's a different case remember pool is just one token you can leave it in the pool and it will generate cake tokens for you and for farms it requires you two tokens that's why it shows you a pair of token in this case cake and bnb you get to earn 73.34 percent that's pretty much it and hope you enjoyed this video have fun with the pancake swab Again, I want to tell you that there's a risk to this. Don't 
just think this is 100% safe. There's a risk to anything in crypto world and it's really volatile. And last but not least, be careful out there. Be careful of scammers. There's so many scammers out there. If people approach you, want to help you to sort certain things, very be careful with it, all right? They come at you at your most vulnerable time. Make sure you don't give out your private phrases, your private keys, anything like that. Secure that on a piece of paper or screenshot it or save it on a little USB. You can encrypt that, put on a password or anything like that. Just be safe out there. There's nobody gonna get back the token you lost or you got scammed. So be careful with your own assets. <laughs> Hopefully that was a helpful video for you and hopefully you have successfully connected your MetaMask with a pancake swab. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for future content as I'm planning more and more crypto related content. So thank you for watching this, Tario sign out, see you in the next one.